That's funny. Uh, uh... Bobby, I'd rather hear that. Oh, I bet. Okay. No, never mind. So, Ghost just beyond me. He said he's cool with it. Yeah, we don't have to stream. Alrighty, we are back here finally. <laughs> oh, we are ready to start off a great series for the Kinetic League. Music is gonna have to be turned down just a little bit while I talk. Okay, so a little bit of information on these teams. Um, they're both. Well, number one, this is the Alpha stream, or the Alpha division, okay? Um, Ghost is the captain, or Go Off Ghost is the captain for No Remorse. And I believe, I actually have no idea who the captain is of um, the other team, New Jersey Night Owls. I have no idea who their captain is, unfortunately. However, to go into a bit of a series break... Uh, breakdown we are going to transfer over to our other beautiful screen you can see right here this is something i made makeshift it doesn't look super professional uh so this is just here for now uh next series uh, that i stream i will be having a more uh professional looking one um that being said First of all, we're going to have Crossroads Hardpoint, then with a Miami S&D and a Checkmate Control. If we go to a map 4 and 5, it is going to be Moscow Hardpoint and Raid S&D. So, um, definitely a lot of interesting things that can happen uh, <clears throat> throughout this match. I am going to go ahead and just retweet it one more time, just because I did kind of fuck it up at once. So, I don't want to mess it up again. There's that, there's that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Holidays about the long break, just finishing up the small. Alrighty. We are going to get started here today. For sure, gonna be one to watch. I know they do have some console players, so we will have to wait just a little bit longer before we're able to get started. I am just fixing this real quick because I had been given something else. There we go. Alrighty. We are going to hop on, like I said, to the side of Ghost. I do not have my player card on, so I do need to fix that. I apologize. There we go. Alright. Ghost. A couple of nice shots right off the rip. You're going to see nobody in point right now, though. Number three finally does hop in there, Bateman. This is a good setup on the side of the Night Owls. Oh, I do have them flipped, actually. I apologize on that as well. Uh, so it is flipped, so No Remorse is uh, this blue, and Night Owls is on the right. So a good setup from the side of Remorse right now, and they're just taking their time. You know, Night Owls are really trying to find shots, and just right now they're not able to connect on anything. It's going to be a good fight, and Ghost just helps out Fishy or Fish. I was going to say fish. <laughs> fish on 
the hill and right now nothing's able to get done for the side of night owls you're, you're seeing a lot of solo pushes murky's trying to find something on cat and you have a fishing up there as well does get taken down though murky finds a great kill onto him is he going to react to somebody up top no he does not and fishing gets a nice two piece and fish is actually going to be on a six spree. i didn't even notice that till right now make that a seven spree no streaks are enabled for him which i'm assuming if he did have them he'd be very close make that an eight spree and they are just playing absolutely just so well right now fishy make that nine he's gonna catch the person almost makes it a 10 spree merc able to get the kill and now he's trying to make something happen on this left side of the map <clears throat> nothing does happen fishy again he he dies he comes back and he gets another two piece like is he gonna get this third one <laughs> and, and you're just seeing an absolute dominating fashion from the side of remorse no one's able to really answer them yet and that's why they're up 92 to 4 look at the mini map everyone's trying to get inside number six actually gonna be this close engagement does he win it he does that is gonna spawn night owls on that side four spawns but fishy gets the first kill and this man's on an absolute terror i think it'd be terrible if we switched on anybody else he's 17 and 3 in the first three hard points this is absolutely insane you do not see this make that 19 and 3 with a two piece fish would have had full streaks that is for sure make that 20 and 3 what is he on <laughs> finally does go down though and 20 and 4 but the slaying power is just all on remorse's side there's not much that really you know they can do they have to answer fishy and that's the huge thing number eight though for is kind of by himself he's gonna play number two does get taken down and six they should have spawns no six murky doesn't get the spawns number three huge gunfight and bayman wins the gunfight holding spawns like an absolute maniac and he's gonna this is ridiculous <laughs> you're just seeing you know night owls just not able to get anything on the board they're not able to answer they had maybe what two seconds in that first hill and you know maybe i think another five in, in hill three like you're just seeing an absolute dominating fashion this is crazy bateman though is trying to work towards this next spawn they did give it up though so number six merc should be able to get on the hill and does get taken down though number seven you or yerbs sorry if i butchered that and the last one to be even close would be for you but he's just gonna try and play next and He's gonna shot in the back. He's gonna hold. He's just gonna hold this, and hopefully they can start answering back. 166 to seven for the first set of rotations. Foria gets a kill, making himself on a two spree. And now Night Owls look like they're gonna start answering back just a little bit. They do have almost a perfect setup. Number seven though, this is gonna be a huge gunfight by Bateman. Does he get the kill? Missed a couple shots. Does he get it? Is he able to get it? He does finally able to get something done for the team euphoria has the most hill time as well for night owls at 19 seconds but you just need to see them chaining more kills together because right now it, it's it's so one-sided and efficient just gets another two piece and i i don't know what else to say you have to be playing together on this map and it feels like remorse just know how to pick this team apart and it's happening. Bateman wins another gunfight on the side of ice. And number six, Merc's going to try and kill him. Gives it up, though. We're going to hop on to Fishy as well. He's going to be trying to push for these spawns. He has help from the side of Efficient. Sindo does get down. Efficient should have the spawns. No, he does not. He was in the back, but he still did not get the spawns. Easy read. It is an easy read. Takes that out. Now efficient being a nuisance up top sin though reads it and takes him out making him 13 to 17 at this point and time and now night owls slowly crawling back but it's going to be a long crawl remorse excuse me finally able to get into the hill sin though wins a huge gunfight merc as well merc again and bateman finally takes out merc but that should be enough to just set the rotations out everybody on side of remorse 
just set up for next and be able to get ready on to the next one. Then does he get taken? He does get taken down. And Fishy, he's 29 to 13. This man, <laughs> what? This man is just making this game his. You do not see this very often where one player is, is consistently going off. Fishy, does he get the third? He gets three. That's going to be a full wipe for Night Owls. And he's just shooting them off spawn. Fishy, can he get the kill? He gets the fifth. Why is this man not running streaks? I don't know. Fishy does get taken out though by Merc, but it's such a long. Oh no! <laughs> it's such a hard game when you're already down over 120 points. Night Owls just are trying to find something for you. Jumps over. Fishy does he get the second? He almost gets the second. Merc lives though. Does get taken out by Bateman. And now you're gonna see they're gonna still have rotations so night owls they need to do something in order to push these rotations out into their favor and fishy again with another kill fishy with two almost if he would have stopped sprinting and gotten that third i swear this is crazy fishy 37 and 16 those are kills by the way they're, those are not eliminations that's not including his assists just his kills, he is 38 and 16, a 2.0 KD. And Night Owls have to try and break the point. They're spawning out. Remorse should win this game, and it's only a matter of time. About five seconds left. Fishy trying to get more kills. Does get taken out by Sin. Ghost and Bait react. That's going to be it, and that's going to be a win for Remorse. Like I said, the uh, overlay was flipped, so I do apologize for that. But my god. Fishy, absolute, must have been drinking G Fuel, honestly. <laughs> Fishy went on an absolute tear right there. And they had no way to respond to him at all. There was no response. Oh my gosh. Wow, <laughs> okay. So while we go ahead and switch over hosts... This is going to be our breakdown. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remorse confidently, we'll say, uh, took over Crossroads 250 to, I believe it was like maybe 89 or 69. Uh, I'll go ahead and look just to get the actual information. Uh, take off lasers, they're GA. Looks like we also did have a GA ban or issue as well. Interesting. Okay. So we might have had a GA issue. But that's not uh, it's not my job, <laughs> unfortunately. I uh, can't remember. Someone on your team had that Diamond 74U. Oh. Yeah. I don't know who that would have been. But you guys saw that was in just a dominating, just <laughs> so dominant. Um, definitely have not seen something like that in quite a while. But, uh, man, <laughs> that was, uh, for sure not something that I was expecting to see so quickly. Jeez, uh, King Zed, I talked to one of these guys before the league. No Remorse has a lot of veteran players. They are cracked. Night Owls needs to bounce back, for sure. And the best way to do it is going to be on the SND. Um, we saw it. You see it in the Pro League. You see it in the Challenger Series. You know, if you want to bounce back, SND is the way to go. Um, and that's, oh, man, absolute insanity from those team, from that team. <clears throat> we are going to hop back into a different thing. We are just going to make sure I have everything set up. So I do apologize for it being uh, flipped. Uh, it will not happen this time. As night owls. Who's blue? I need to. They want blue. Okay, night owls want blue. Cool. All right. Oh. <clears throat> That was crazy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Someone needs to do a test on uh, on Fishy. Like, that was insane. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so now I gotta flip them? Okay. Right? I think. Yeah. Okay. I hope so. I always end up messing this stuff up. Law caster is, is OSR. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, man, oh man. Now. I, what I'm going to say is going to sound really rude. Okay. But if you are night owls, okay, you have to play together. You were seeing a lot of solo pushes from their team on that hard point and that's something that's not going to help you at all unless you have a cracked up player like fish um but man you just you need to have somebody to be able to bounce back for sure like that's this is the time to do it though snd is the biggest part or not biggest part but <laughs> snd is definitely one of the um more it can be solo intensive if needed um but i feel like they'll be able to go ahead and get this done so we are gonna hop on uh, honestly i don't know we're gonna hop on the fishy he absolutely smacked it in the hard point where is everything else there it is okay uh we're gonna hop on with fishy hey i did get it right but i just need to switch one thing oh fishy i like this a lot of people don't utilize different types of of scopes but this is that's helpful he is in a really weird spot too not a lot of people would look at this like right away and number four efficiency or efficiency is going to be getting the bomb down right away and night owls are playing super passively they're they're not looking for anything the remorse does get the bomb down 40 seconds left we're gonna hop on with sin though is he going to be able to kind of sm smell out efficient at all or he knows someone's going to be back there. It has to be planted for there. There's no way it isn't. First shots to go down. Fishy is shooting. And Efficient does go down by Foria, though. But they only have 20 seconds. And Herb gets a second kill. So that's going to be huge, though. Ghost is going to be playing on this backside. And look, he even has an adapted sight, too. Oh, my gosh. I have. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. That should be better. <laughs> And Bait just gets the two-piece. Both teams almost... <laughs> New Jersey... I know, I just fixed it. Hopefully, it'll, it should show here in a sec. Um, you didn't see it, though. Uh, two kills went to the side of Night Owls. And then Night Owls lost all four um, to Bateman and Ghost. So, <sighs> they only got kills when it was about 20 seconds as well, unfortunately. So, <laughs> you should be able to see now, guys. I apologize for that. I'm just trying to get one more thing set up. I apologize, guys. As he dies. Okay. Bateman, you're 4-0. <laughs> you got this. Sees him, though. He just wins a gunfight. <laughs> Not much you can really do against that. People be sleeping on the quick scope. They really do. I'll be 100% I'll be honest. They, they definitely do. Okay, you guys are going to see this now. And I gotta wait for the uh, mini map to come up and see if I can just block it with this. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to fill it, find something else, and I don't really want to. That's not gonna do good. Okay. Well, we'll worry about it here later. Which is fine. Worry about the game, though back in the game okay so <clears throat> bateman 5-0 right now 
finally does pull out a red dot. So that's that's a first. Fishy working on a sneaky flank though. Slowly up the middle, and they just gave that up. Sin though does get the first kill onto Ghost. Bomb is gonna be going down though. Again, murky number eight playing in this back corner. He did see the slide. That's huge. Is he gonna chow it? Is getting shot. Bayman almost does die. Murky, you should be preaming that. Why are you not wait? Oh no, Murky. You just that would have been such a good kill, and now you have three one person left on Night Owl Foria. You're trying to do it for your team, but the time's not there. Fishy does get taken down though. 1v3. And it's just not going to happen. It's going to be mathematically impossible. And Bateman does get the kill to finish out that map. Or that, excuse me, that round. And now Remorse going to be up 3-0. Yeah, I know. I know frequency. I have to, uh, I have to put another thing there, unfortunately. Actually, can I just turn that off? I think I can. Hey, there we go. Cool. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. Abatement. We're just going to stay on him. He's 7-0 and right now. And he just... <laughs> he finds the kill, making it a 3. It's 2v1 it's two v now, and... Herbs is almost dead. Bateman didn't see him, though. Is he going to read this? Herbs. No. Bateman gets the kill. 4-0 up for remorse. Night Owls, you need to stop the bleeding. Herbs almost got this, too. Gets a nice two-piece. He actually gets all three all the kills on the map for his team, but unfortunately not able to get Bateman as well. He had to have been expecting he, he did challenge, right? Yeah, okay. Gosh, man, you have to hold it. And this is another thing, too. On the side of, of, you know, Night Owls, Murky, when you're in this back spot and you're playing for Intel, as soon as somebody gets shots on there, you should be reacting to that. Um, it just looked like he really didn't, and he was just, you know, running. Um, Murky as well, dropping the donut right now as well. So <laughs> definitely have to improve on that for his team to be able to string anything together, really. Fish, he does get the first blood. On Foria. It's gonna make Foria two and five for the map. And gets nothing. And this is good teamwork on the side of bait or excuse me, of uh, remorse. Efficient putting bomb down. And the other two aren't even close. And that's gonna be a full they're gonna have to retake a two V three. Murky though. Just get the kill. Is he able to see it? He gets the kill. That's a huge kill. Murky on a two spree. As soon as I made the comment of him being O and two. Or 0 and 4, he's now able to actually get something done. And Ghost gets the kill. Murky's gonna try and get this. Is he, does he see him? He does. He's gonna hold it. Trigger discipline. Gets the kill. Nice, Murky. He does have 10 seconds roughly, but ah, Bateman's just gonna play this back corner. He knows he doesn't have to peek it at all. And Murky. This is gonna be another round win for Remorse. Murky does not. He's not able to do anything for that. Man. Remorse now up 5-0. to zero. Will we see a full sale? Do you guys think we'll see a full sale today? I, I'm not sure if we will. Just remorse has been so dominant in this matchup. I just I can't see it happening. And Bateman still has not died yet. Bateman Gets the shots on Murky, though. Doesn't get the kill. Efficient, though. Does get the kill on Foria. Now it's going to be a 3v4 for Night Owls. You... 
I really, really want to see them make that comeback. But as I say that, two more go down since the last one in a 1v4. Does get tagged up. Is able to get away. Bateman kills Ghost. Probably on purpose. And now he's just going to try and get away, but... I don't know if Sin can do it. Sin's getting tagged up again, and he goes down, and that's going to be a remorse. 6-0 against Night Owls in that map, two, making it a 2-0 series. This is match point. <clears throat> or series point, excuse me. Remorse are so good at playing it together and baiting out shots, as well as, like, just communication from them has to be on point it feels like a lot of the small adjustments that we're getting just you know from uh night owls just isn't enough for them you know they're, they're they're switching up the way they played and you know those first two rounds when they got the when remorse got the bomb down on b they're on a excuse me you know it's yeah, you have to play that better Oh, no, for sure. I do hope the comeback is real. Uh, but one person to look out for is, is Fishy, man. He absolutely dominated the hard point um, very, very quickly. And as we get this set up, looks like they are going to take red sides, but they need to flip those. Now, here, here's my thing, okay? If you're Night Owls right now, how are you feeling after that? The the SND was just... You were getting good trades, but you never had the numbers advantage. I, I think they got first blood maybe one, one or two rounds um, throughout that entire map. So, <laughs> we need to... You need uh, to see going to burn this to the Night Owls actually... Just doing a little bit more than what's happening right now. Um, fishy, you animal. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, my man. But <sighs> Bayman also didn't die. That is that is true. Yes, he. Uh, I think he finished nine and zero or ten and zero. <sighs> so we are gonna start off with Fishy. He was dominant in the first round, or the first map. He was dominant in the second round. We're going to see if he can pop off here as well. Does decide to pull out an AK too. So that's... Keep keep the form. You did that in the hard point. Don't switch it up. Herbs though. Gets the first blood. Bayman and Fishing get the first two kills. Second two and they just get traded out. And that's the way to do it. Foria uh, almost dead. Ghost is in their back. He's going to miss a couple shots. Does he get the kill? No, he doesn't. And that's going to be three top plane for Remorse. And they're going to try and flood out. I am going to put this minimap back on. I apologize if it is not there. The minimap is finally back. You're just seeing Remorse is just controlling this top plane to where Night Owls aren't even able to really get out of their spawn or, you know, find key shots and efficiency. Gets a great kill onto Merc. 
And two, look at look where they're spawning. They're spawning all the way in the back of, of blue. And number seven, Go of Ghost is making the kills, but does finally get traded out. Bayman looks like he's under, he's on top lane. Gets gunned by Sin. That's what you need to happen. But again, efficient's just there for the trade. They're playing trade so fucking good. I apologize for swearing, but so well. You just need to see something, and I don't. No one's gonna be close for contest, and that's gonna be a, a defensive win for Remorse. Now, the only other thing is that uh, Ao was that Kirito from the Birds version. <laughs> um, the only thing that you need to 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 realize is Checkmate is a very defensive sided map. Um, you know that and Garrison are very defensive sided. Uh, I, I feel like Raid's the only one that's really close to not being super whack. Um, but, you know, you, <laughs> Night Owls have to replicate exactly what Remorse just did. Uh, and was that the Kirito, or, uh, Kirito, Kirito, whatever, uh, from Abridged? Yes, it was. <laughs> it is a sound bit from that. Um, you're actually the only person that's ever made that comment, so good job. Bayman, though, does get a kill on the Ghost. Pretty accidental, it's, it looks like, and Bayman doesn't get the kill. Foria, though, trades him out. Efficient gets a kill as well, so Herbs is going to be on the point, just... Putting down that tick time. Six and seven, though. On the other side of the map. Sin, though, is he going to... This is a huge gunfighter. Sin gets it. And he does. Nice. Number six, though. Efficient is on the hill. Sin. Whoa. Okay. Sin came to, Sin came to play. I like it. I like it a lot. Number eight, Fishy. Playing up top is still in the lead for the entire map. Nine and three. Make that... Nine and four. I was kind of hoping he'd win that gunfight, but that's okay. Number six, though. Bateman playing up top. Or, er, excuse me. Efficient playing up top. Does get shot in the back by Merc, and Bateman kills Ghost. What happened there? Is Bateman just... Is Ghost just dying to his, to his teammates for no reason? I'm... <laughs> I'm confused. Sin, though, does get a good kill, and he pushes up here. It's going to be pretty big for them, actually. Sin, front yellow. Oh. Does finally get the kill. Nice. Number eight and five, though. Look how they responded. They instantly look over. And Bayman, though, does get the kill onto Sin. You should have just stayed there a little bit longer, Sin, and not push up as much. But Foria gets a two-piece. Herbs gets another one. That's going to be three down. And Foria <clears throat> making some magic work onto the game. I need water. I apologize. <laughs> there we go. Bateman is trolling. Yeah. <laughs> and Remorse did actually get this in the A site as well. So you are seeing the times dwindle down. And Bateman, we're going to hop onto him. Gets Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. And you're gonna have two people on B. You need somebody to stop this. Number two, though, Herbs, the only one really in contest to, to stop this and misses the shots. It's kind of waiting for him to chow. Ghost doesn't get the peak adver peaker's advantage. He does not. And you almost have full two ticks. If you're if you're on the side of Night Owls, you have to stop them from taking this time. You're too worried about killing them out of your spawn. Number five, Bayman and Efficient bolt on the point. Are they gonna be able to capture this? Yes, they are. And Remorse go up 2 0 in the control. Night Owls, you have to play the point more. I think that's the only thing I can really say for them. They were getting better trades. They were playing together more. But you have to be able to get those, you know, focus the point. It's control. Sin. We're gonna stay with him. Murky does get the first kill on the fish, though. Efficient goes down as well without, but does take Merc. Ghost. Free aiming, free firing. Sin, though, he's absolute good shots. And fish, though. Ooh, that little G slide, but Merc sniffs him out. And you are gonna have Night Owls finally doing a little bit more. They're able to stay on the point and not 
worry about it so much. And, you know, they're capping it. They actually have one progression point on it. Eight and seven, though. They are going to start playing this backside. Merc, does he see it? He does not. Fish is now going to be a thorn in their side. Sin, does he smell it? He smells something's up. Is he able to get the trade? He's aiming. He's aiming. He gets the kill on the fish. And that's how you get them out of your spawn. Go off ghost. The only other person that would have been close to spawn trap them. But no, Ghost is just going to play up top. Gets the kill on the Sin. And again, look at look at the mini-map. Look at how many people were just on top and bottom plane. Remorse are holding that middle plane. And now everybody on the side of Night Owls dies. They spawn out. And now that's three down. Is it going to be four? Herbs gets the kill. Ghost is just going to keep putting bullets into him, peppering him. And now you just... Herbs get the kill. Okay, he got one out of their spawn. That's huge. A ghost is the only other person that's really contesting them to get up to this hill, though. Herb, unfortunate use of the trophy. Does get taken down. Sin responds with it, but Ghost, again, on a th three spree, does get taken down. Now, three. Foria is able to break through on A. That's absolutely huge. Number five, though. Look at the minimap. Make sure... Just take a look. Does he get the kill? No. Fishy gets two. Murky responds with it. Murky last one on the hill. Gets two. Does he get the third? He does not. No. No. Sin. Foria, get on the hill. Get on the hill. And that's it. No. Remorse take the 3-0 sweep in the control. And they take the 3-0 sweep for the series. Remorse kind of scary if i'm gonna be honest they're not a team that i would want to mess with oh my gosh jesus oh man what did we just see <laughs> oh my lord that's not something i thought i would see today i thought it was gonna I was expecting it to go a little bit, a little bit better. Oh man, that was uh, that was scary to say the least. So, to go back onto everything, um, <laughs> to go through that map, <clears throat> Crossroads Hardpoint, two fifty to sixty, I believe. I'd have to double check, but it was two sixty or two fifty to around like sixty or eighty. Miami S and D, six zero for remorse and checkmate <laughs> 3 0 for remorse um man th they're just dominating that was that was a crazy series and you know on the side of remorse aside from bateman shooting your teammates for you know no apparent reason um you know they looked pretty flawless they were getting the trades when they needed to they were able to respond to whatever night owls was able to throw at them so that was man yikes <laughs> i was not expecting that um but very well done for the side of remorse they do get the 3-0 and they start off the kinetic series or excuse me the kinetic leagues in a 1-0 position round three looked like a whole pro match deaths kills everywhere yeah round three was probably the closest one that they had um unfortunately they weren't able to get onto the point which kind of screwed them uh that being said, though, is there another match for you to cast? Um, no one has reached out to me, so I'm going to go ahead and say no. Um, yeah, no one's reached out to me. So I'm going to say that's a no. <clears throat> unless somebody else wants me to cast them. But uh, looks like that will be it for me for today. So it is what it is. No worries. Um, hopefully uh w with this layout that you guys see on screen right now um i'll be able to kind of put in the, the scores and stuff like that and make it look a lot better um as well so i appreciate everybody coming around if you didn't drop a follow if you could i'd appreciate that it helps me a lot it makes me know that you guys are enjoying the content as well as my podcasting i've only been doing it for i think this was maybe my, my fifth or sixth match um, so I'm trying to get better at it. A lot of stuff as well behind the scenes that I'm trying to f work on as well. Like, you know, having the layout and, you know, making sure everything is set up and stuff like that. So, um, that being said, you know, no remorse, watch out for them in this kinetic league. Um, absolute dominant, especially fish. 
uh, if if I was able to give MVP points to somebody, um, map one would be fish, map two would be bait, map three um, it's kind of a toss up. I actually don't know who I'd give it to map three. Can we get a post game interview? You know, I'd like to do that. However, I doubt it. Let me ask. We will see what he says. <laughs> man that was a good match though oh he said yeah of course okay all right well i guess we are going to be getting <laughs> we are going to be getting a post game um interview discord we're going to do it on the discord call as well so if you guys want to give me about two minutes just to get into their thing and talk to them we'll go ahead and do that though But as we wait, we're going to just put some music on and, you know, wait for that interview. Interview Bateman. We want Bateman. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I think it's going to be with the whole team. If not, um, I definitely will probably be entering, er, interviewing um, Ghost just because he's a captain. Um, Bateman went 12-0 in the S&D. Did he actually? He got all three kills on that last round? Sheesh. Yeah, that SND was dominant. And, and that's the other thing, too. Remorse was able to get multiple, like, really good plays. And it was just one person going off. Obviously, yeah, the team was doing well and playing together. But, you know, Fish in that, in that first map and Bayman in that second map, you saw the dominance come from them. And, you know, they all play together really well on map three. So, definitely, definitely something to, to take to kind of look back at the VOD and go, huh. There's always, there's, the the big thing too is there's always ways to improve, which a lot of teams that are, or a lot of AM teams, and again, you know, everybody has an issue with this, but they don't realize that there is a lot of, there's always room for improvement, regardless of how well you play, um, winning the game isn't, isn't everything, you know, um, just because you win the game and, you know, you win a series, you know, you can definitely still look back and, and realize what you did wrong in there, uh, you know. Even if it's such such a small thing as, you know, not rotating at 30 and you rotate it at 20. Um, you know, because against really good teams, that will bite you in the ass. Um, that's just an example, of course. But a lot of things that uh, that we saw from that was, uh, it, was <laughs> it was a slaughter, <laughs> if, if, if I'm be honest. Um, they played that really well. So, round three of that controller was the, probably the closest that we had, which is really nice. So, Okay, it looks like I did get the invite to the Discord server, and uh, we're going to ask them what's going on. Yeah. All right, guys, we are going to go into the post-game interview. Uh, like I said, this next time, um, I will have something that actually shows it, so... Uh, you know shows the the vod and you know them talking and stuff like that so um you know, we're gonna join up on them and you know just ask them a couple questions friends with yo yo how's it going guys do you remember the name all right and what's up jericho what's, what's going on how you guys doing good 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 how are you pretty well so um how are you doing, jericho? uh you know good i was able to cast that match and you know saw the dominance from you guys so uh i do have a couple questions for you uh, i'm gonna start off first with fish um what line of G fuel did you uh, use on game one? Uh, well, actually, I don't drink G, G fuel, so. Oh. Never even, yeah. Oh, okay. What energy drink yeah, is? Is there is there anything that you did differently uh, to go off in that type of fashion? 
Uh, no. Crossroads is just an easy map to play uh, against, like, undisciplined, undisciplined teams, especially just playing, like, a rat everywhere. So, it's just, uh, it's very easy to, there's sneaky spots all over the map, and if teams aren't checking everything, it's very easy to catch teams off. Right, yeah, no, we definitely saw you do that, um, especially in that uh, that P3 hill. You were just, you know, like you said, being a rat uh, in P1, and you were just able to, you know, get a lot of sneaky kills, and they just didn't know how to respond to you. They tried sending two, to, two at you, and, you know, you got help from, I believe it was Ghost, and there's, there's just nothing you could do, or that they could do, excuse me. So, uh, well done. You guys absolute, absolutely dominated that map one. Uh, going on to map two, bait. What did you do differently? Because <laughs> uh, you guys, you guys both just switched up. So like, Bait was still getting the kills, and he was able to, you know, help out the team on on map one. But it felt like again, it was all fishy. You know, I, I believe he finished like thirty five and twelve or something, um, almost double positive or a little bit over double positive. And and Bait just goes into the S and D and goes, "It's okay, fish. I got this." So you know what what happened? <laughs> Um, yeah, so they always tell me I'm the worst surge player on the team, so, you know, I had to prove them wrong a little bit, so I let them fly out. And, uh, he is. Back for my kills. Yeah, he you is. Know? Uh, you know, it's just that last round where I team killed the ghost, that was basically the entire premise of it. I just let them die. I cleaned up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's he, cost, he costed us a, a first place trophy whoa, last tournament. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, whoa. so you had to make up for it. Gave up. You gave up the driveway at home. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, Bayman played great today. Yeah, he really did. No, for sure. Definitely, Um, if casters were able to go ahead and give uh, MVPs, you know, Fishy and Bait, you guys both take map one, map two. So um, that's definite. Now, to, to go in a little bit of detail, um, what, Bait, <laughs> were you just killing Ghost in the control just for shits and giggles? or? Yes, absolutely. Okay. He, he, got, really, he got really salty, and I, I, dude, that made my day. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, guys... he gave him a little spanking about that. Told him it wasn't cool, but hopefully it won't happen next time. Very good. Um, do you guys have anything to say for, I guess, you know, everybody that's still, that you still have to play in your uh, your division as well as just, like, you know, the, the league itself? This is only our second tournament together, and this is what's happening, so good luck, our everybody. League. This is our first uh, league we've ever played. You better be getting good scrims and homies. Yeah. We're we're coming. We don't want to, We want people to see our name and just not want to play us. So uh, that's our goal. Well, you have the team name them. to do that. So yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Um, last thing, uh, I, just so I know, um, I always like to ask what everybody's age is and then kind of like where they're from, uh, just so we can kind of start building like a little bit of a player profile on everybody. Um, so if you want to go down the line, bait, you'll go first, and then we'll rock it down. Uh, yeah, I'm 19 and I'm from Iowa. Uh, I uh fish uh, i'm 19 as well and i'm from denver uh, i'm fectini and uh i'm 21 from california i'm ghost i'm 23 and i'm also from california uh yes he's the dad of the group i can tell all righty uh <laughs> i also was butchering your name efficient or how do you say Fectini. it? Fectini. Fectini. Yeah, I kept calling yeah. you efficient, so I apologize. Uh, no, nah, I'm so used to it by this point. <laughs> this <laughs> is... effect. If, it, if it doesn't come out to say effect, we always yeah, just say effect. Is effect. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Everyone calls me Batman. They always miss the E. Nah, no one says your name. Batman. <laughs> no, no one on this team has really done it outside of like the first day, but. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'll go ahead and let you guys get back to the lab. Continue doing what you're doing. Congratulations on the 3-0 victory against the Absolutely. New Jersey Night Owls. And you guys have a great rest of your day, all right? Thank you. Yeah, you thank, as well. you. thank you for casting. Oh, yeah, of course. Just let me know if you guys need me to do it again. I'm more than, you know, willing to. Of, so. of course, man. Thank right, you. Thank you. Have a good one. Yep, you too. Peace. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> as you can see, it's just really good vibes from that team. Um, You know, a lot of small things that they do right. And, you know, one thing is... You don't want to – obviously having it – having the team be a good vibe is a huge thing. Um, and turning it into friendships as well is also good. Uh, but you never want to take away from the fact that you guys are competing. Um, and, and, you know, you heard that in the in the comms right there. Um, the team just feels like they're meshing really well together. So I'm definitely going to have them on my top watch list for the Kinetic League. Um, just watching them play the Night Owls. 